So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm really behind on hauls. Um, I've picked up a few things from a couple different matte collections and then also some scragglers in there of just random things that I wanted to try. So I thought I would do that haul today. I do need to do a high-end haul and a drugstore haul and all that jazz. <laughs> so um, hopefully I'll be able to get those done um, tomorrow and through the weekend and stuff like that. So I'm going to get rolling into the stuff that I got from the MAC Fantasy of Flower collection. So I picked up both of the blushes and all of this whole collection comes in standard black MAC packaging so I won't bore you with the Here's the package. <laughs> um, but the, the first blush is called Petal Power, and these are both mineralized uh, blushes. It looks like that. Showing up pretty true to color in the viewfinder. It, um, it looks like a more vibrant, sheeny, a more interesting version of orgasm, I think, is what it looks like to me. It's kind of a peachy, a peachy pink with some gold through it. It's a really pretty, pretty shade. Well, that's that one is Petal Power, and then the other one that came with the collection is called Azalea in the Afternoon, and this one is gorgeous as well. It's like a, it's like a baby, kind of a baby pinkish coral, I guess. There is a, there is a bit of coral in here, but Azalea, I was thinking more purple, but it's a little bit more coral. There's the finger, the finger. <laughs> There's it on my finger, and then here is a swatch of it. Right there. Both really, really gorgeous mineralized blushes. I, I like both of them. That is what they look like up close. This is uh, Petal Power, and this one is Azalea in the Afternoon. And then since Perfect Topping is one of my favorite mineralized skin finishes, I thought that I would pick up another one because I knew it was really sought after. A couple years back and it was kind of it's kind of a rare product I guess I actually got mine at a CCO in where was I Indiana I think I was in Indiana I was down there <laughs> we were picking up a horse trailer long story anyway I ended up at a CCO way down there I'm from North Dakota if you don't know by the way but I picked up this perfect topping and this is this is the one that I picked up years ago the original one and I, I've worn off the dome on it. It's it, like I said, it's one of my favorite mineralized skin finishes from Mac. So I thought it would be a great, good idea to get you know a second one or a backup because you know I'm gonna use this up like tomorrow, right? <laughs> Probably not, but um, they're not really nothing alike, man. <laughs> In the pan, they don't look nothing alike. This is the one from the Flower Fantasy collection, and then this is the old one. This one has a lot more pretty veining and purples in it. Let's swatch them here. Yeah. yeah, so this one is the older one and this is the new one. So you can see from the top swatch, it's got more of a silver, um, it's got more of a silver pink iridescence to it as opposed to the bottom one, which has a peach more candlelight glow to it. So they are not the same. So you might want to be aware of, aware of that, um, if you're thinking about picking it up, so. Yeah, the this top one, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but that that's the new one, and here's the old one, and this the, the newer one has definitely got more peach, um, more color to it than the older one, so. And then, like a crazy person, I picked up all the lipsticks in the line, because all the colors just were really appealing to me, and I'm, I'm really gung-ho for spring, like I want it to be here now, because <laughs> it's still below zero where I'm at, and the spring collections are coming out, and I'm just really, really, really excited for spring because man cabin fever it ain't no joke <laughs> um so i did pick up all the lipsticks and the one that i'm wearing on my lips right now is this one here and it is called rose lily so it and i think all of these are luster lipsticks which from blogs and stuff i've been reading that it is in a lot of people's favorite formula i like them just fine <laughs> shimmer and shine you know <laughs> but i'll put another layer of this on hopefully you guys can i mean you guys should be able to see it in the in the video because it's on my lips, but I'll just put another layer on. I have it on with NYX's uh, Dolly. I'll list everything down below, but NYX's Dolly Pink Lip Liner, which is a perfect lip liner for the lipstick, and I do really like it. I think it's I think it's a gorgeous color. Then I picked up Snapdragon. Here, I'll swatch this on my hand. The 
rose lily one so that you guys can see all the pinky ones next to each other if you're thinking about getting them. I know a few of the shades are sold out on the MAC website, but they are available on Nordstrom's. I, I like just check. So um, this, one, this one here is Snapdragon. Put a swatch right there. It is, it is not very much different than the Rosalie shade, in my opinion. The Rosalie is a little bit more cool, and then the Snapdragon has a bit more uh, purple silver glitters in it, I think. I think they're both really stunning, though. And then the third one in that, like, purple... Because they split them up on the website, like, they're two separate little collections. One's, like, more purples and one's more nudies. <laughs> nudies nude. <laughs> um, but the third one in the purpley collection is called Heavenly Hybrid. And that is what that one looks like right there. And it is also a really gorgeous color. I want to say that that's the one that sold out probably the fastest on the website. And then from the other part of the collection is like the new, more nude colors. And I picked up Dreaming Dahlia, which looks like that. It looks a little intimidating in the tube, but it doesn't swatch out quite as vibrant as this on, on the hand. So it should be it should be pretty wearable. I think it's a really gorgeous color. And it is a luster as well. All of these, I think, are lusters. And then I got Naked Bud, which is a beige nude. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see these ones. It looks like that. It's Naked Bud right there. And then the third one, which is the lightest one, is called Fleur de Coral. And this one is also a really gorgeous nude. So there's Fleur de Coral. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then here is Dreaming Dahlia. And then Naked Bud is right there. So there's the lipsticks. And then I did pick up some more lipsticks <laughs> randomly on MAC and one of them is the new Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick which is absolutely stunning. The packaging has that um, NARS-esque grippy feel to it but the shade is just, it's really a beautiful shade of lipstick. And this is a, it's a frost. And it looks like, it is a really pretty, I would say it's a cool toned red personally. The camera's picking it up a little bit warmer, but a really, really gorgeous shade of red there. And then I also picked up Morning Rose. I think you guys might have seen this in one of my videos. I've had this for a while. This is part of the um, Ma Magnetic Nudes collection, I think. And it is a really, really pretty nude shade as well. That one looks like that. Then I got this shade called Peach Blossom, which is a cream sheen. And it looks... I haven't even swatched this yet or played with. I haven't even played with a lot of these uh, yet. It is right there. Yeah, it's a cream sheen. It looks... It's kind of a sheer shade. It doesn't go on quite as opaque as the first two. And then there is Sunny Soul, which is also a cream sheen. And this color is stunning to me. It's like a coral, a pink, a pink coral shade. <laughs> and it looks like... Oh yeah, it is so gorgeous. I think this shade is really, really pretty. So that is Sunny Soul. And I believe that these are part of the the permanent collection. All of the ones so far, except for I think the Morning Rose one. And then this one here is called Pink Pearl Pop. And it is also a cream sheet. Another stunning color. So pretty. Yeah, this is really, really gorgeous as well. It is right there. So pretty. I haven't swatched these yet. I've just looked at them in the tube and I thought that they looked stunning in the tube and then I sw I'm swatching them right now and they're they're really really gorgeous shades. And then the last one I got is called Coral Bliss and it is also a cream sheen. Another one I didn't swatch and looks absolutely stunning in the tube. Such a pretty color. Like I think these are just gorgeous spring colors. Yeah. That one is Coral Bliss. Really, really pretty. And I also picked up two of the MAC Huggable lipsticks. And I've been hearing really good things about them. And I got these and I really haven't played with them all that much. But I was going to order a couple more that I've seen on some some videos that people are really enjoying. And a lot of them are sold out. I'm, I'm hearing that this is a limited edition deal, the Huggable thing. I don't know for sure though. But I did pick up two of them. And the first one is called Touche. 
and it is a really pretty nude shade. These shades are starting to look all very similar. <laughs> so this one here is Touche. It is like, it's really glossy. It's really a pretty shade. And then the other one I picked up is called What a Feeling. And this is like, this, this shade is right up my alley right here. <laughs> it's like a um, purple based pink color. Yeah, it is so pretty. I really like that. That is what a feeling. So I'm really anxious to give these Huggable lipsticks a go. They've been sitting in a box and not getting any love from me, so I can't tell you exactly my thoughts on them, but um, I've been hearing really good things about them, so if you could probably snatch a few, it might be a good idea, especially if it's like limited edition stuff. So, And then I did pick up two lip pencils because I do quite enjoy MAC's lip pencils, and this one is a regular one, and it is in the color Dervish. It is right there. And then the other one that I got is called Kiss Me Quick, and it is a Pro Longwear pencil. It is kind of a blue-based cherry red color, which I really do enjoy these lip, the uh, Pro Longwear lip, lip liners as well. So that is that one. Looks like it'll be really good lip liner to go with the Rihanna lipstick. And then a couple more things from the Magnetic Nude collection. I got the Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Skin Finish, and it looks like that. It's kind of a peachy... I'll probably use this as a blush because it's a little bit too dark for me to use as a um, highlighter, but it is a peachy, like a light peachy copper-ish shade. <laughs> Put a big swatch on here for you guys. Hopefully it'll pick up, but it is a really pretty, I will use it as a, um, as a blush. And then I also picked up the blush, one of the blushes from that collection. It's called Auto, Auto Erotic. And this one here looks like that. This will also be a gorgeous blush on for summertime. <laughs> really, really pretty. It looks like that. It is so gorgeous. Summer or spring. Yeah, spring spring and summer. Heck, they both need to get here real quick. <laughs> that is autoerotic. And then I heard so many people in a lot of their Best of Beauty videos and just in general in their videos how much they love the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I heard it enough times that I thought, I'm going to try it. Because most of MAC's concealers that I've tried, like the Studio Fix, the Sco Studio Sculpt, and those ones that people put under their eyes, I've tried those and I feel like they're just way too thick for that area. Yeah, they, they do provide great coverage, but in the flesh, photography and all that stuff, you know, fine. But like in the flesh, that stuff just looked really unflattering under the eyes, for me at least. I have tried them, but I went on a, on a whim and... I tried the Pro Longwear one, and the shade that I got is NW15, which I believe is the lightest one they make for cool skin, cool skin tones. Um, I've worn it a couple times. I, I find that it does crease, <laughs> and it is a little thicker than I like, and I think it's drying. Um, maybe in the summertime, I don't know how well that'll work, though, if it creases underneath my eyes, you know? I don't know. I still need to play with it more, but I'm so definitely not wowed, <laughs> wowed by this concealer like a lot of people are. So, but I do have it, and I'm I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more. I almost sent it back, but I'm I'm gonna give it a a, a couple more shots yet. <laughs> I did pick up two shadows from the nude collection, magnetic nude collection as well. I picked up a natural flirt, which is the light one, gorgeous highlight shade. I I really like it, and then silver dawn, which just looked like a um, a pewtery. Like a pewter shade with a bit of a green, green gray undertone. I just think that both of these shades are really, really stunning. Like this shade here, I would not mind if they did a big mineralized skin finish in this shade. Because I think that this would be a beautiful mineralized skin finish shade for like highlighting. And the other one looks like that. So really gorgeous colors there. There are those. And then too, you guys remember these used to come in, they used to come in the pots the Pro Longwear eyeshadow size pots, like they shrunk them. <laughs> These are like the the little the littler pots, and I I should have double checked before I start filming, but I don't know if, what the price difference is. I want to say that they may be the same, which that's kind of a bummer because they used to be. Let me grab one. This is what they they used to come in. Look at that. I want to say that they're the same price too. I don't know, man. <laughs> And then I'm not sure what collection this came from. Maybe the there was one that had really vibrant, like um, 
neon colors in it. I think that's what this is from. Anyway, I got a pigment, which I usually don't go for pigments, but I really thought this shade would be gorgeous on the lid. And this is in True Chartreuse. And it is a really gorgeous green color. It's a matte too, which I was not expecting it to be a matte. I obviously didn't do my research. <laughs> but that is what that looks like. I just think this would be so, so pretty on the lid. I haven't used it yet. Again, it's been sitting in a box. Oh yeah, see? That is going to look really gorgeous on the lid. I think I'm going to use this tomorrow. And then I did pick up two of their Mineralize, MAC Mineralize Eyeshadow Quads. These are new and I believe they are permanent as well. But the shades, they just spoke to me <laughs> in the palette. So I, I grabbed them. I don't think that Tim Tully gave them that good of a review. I did wear this one here, which is called A Harvest of Greens. I did wear this one and I thought the look came out just fine. <laughs> and I used them dry too, which... Which I usually use all my eyeshadows dry just because I find it to be a bit of a pain in the rear to go get my brush wet and all that jazz. <laughs> and then the other one is called a medley of mobs. But these these kind of these type of colors are just so they're my they're my style of color. <laughs> so that there is a harvest of greens. I think that they're gorgeous. I really do. I think that they're really gorgeous shades. See, I don't think there's nothing wrong with them. I think they're really pretty. And then this one here is called a medley of mobs. Again, I just think that the shades are stunning. I think they have they have pretty good pigmentation too, so I have not used this this one yet, but I did use the green one and I, I quite liked it. So there are those right there. I like them. <laughs> and they do they do have a mirror inside and they have a magnetic closure, like so. So that is what the compact looks like. You'd think it was like a powder compact, but there's four eyeshadows in there. So there's all the damage that I've done at MAC recently. I'm really excited to get rolling with some of these products because they've been crying in the box waiting waiting to be played with and I really need to play with them. The Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm going to I'm gonna try to give that another shot because so many people love it. I'm, I'm trying to make myself love it. <laughs> and first impressions and first couple uses just wasn't good, but um, some of those lipstick colors I'm really excited for. Really, really good stuff. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.